Hello and welcome. My name is Dawn Rapsis and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator. I am so excited to share with you that Stampin' Up! yesterday made some really great announcements for some promotions that they have going on this month. The retirement list has been announced and you're going to get 10% off every stamp set that's on that list. You're going to want to hurry and place your orders because once the stamps are gone, they're gone. So, and the other thing that you're going to... Um, take advantage of is the free shipping deal. So any orders of $70 or more are going to get free shipping. It's my birthday month, so I am going to be offering other specials, and all of you on my crafty customer list know exactly what they are, including the holiday collection special promotion that I have going on for that too. So if you're not on my crafty customer list, head on over to my website, sign up for a newsletter, and you'll find out all the great things I have going on. So I want to share with you today some fabulous stuff I have going on in my studio. We're working with color this month and it has some really fun projects. Oh, and also I wanted to let you know that I have some really fun announcements that are going to be coming up soon. So you're going to want to come back and watch my videos and check out my blog to see what kind of announcements I have for you. So come on down to my studio and let's get started today. Hello and welcome to my studio. I have some really great things to share with you, so let's get started. First, I wanted to start out with the Country Living Promotion, the Holiday Collection Stamping Kit. This is an awesome kit. Every single day I've been working with it, I can't put it down. It's so much fun. And you know what? It's a great family kit to work together. Just put all the supplies on the table and go ahead and make some ornaments. So I just want to share with you what I've uh, got, what I got going on. And I too, I want to remind you that I am doing a uh, special promotion for this, so be sure to check um, the emails that I have sent out about it, and you can get in on it, okay? So here we go. This is the Country Living Promotion. I just want to share with you a couple of um, ornaments that I did. You've seen Some of these you've seen already. This is my daughter, Brielle, and I made a letter B. Um, the B does not come with the kit. However, you can make some really cute ornaments. I'm just going to bring this up closer so you can see it. You make some really cute ornaments for the tree. Um, here's some other ones. This is a snowflake that I did make, and um, it is so easy to make. It's adorable, and that's my son Michael there. And then you can see here there's a cute little ornament that's a frame that's a snowflake, and that snowflake was stamped from the um, Holiday Collection stamp kit. And then here's another one, another snowflake from that kit. And this is my daughter Danielle, and I just put a little picture of her on a little metal edge tag. And then I also did a little monogram ornament for her as well. That D does not come in the kit, however the frame that you're seeing there does come in the kit. Okay, so that's just a quick little recap of some of those ornaments there. I wanted to talk to you about the Stampin' Up! Color Coach. If you're having any trouble with color, I highly recommend the Stampin' Up! Color Coach. Here it is right here, and this is how it works. It just kind of swirls around there. So if you wanted to use Always Artichoke, which is here, it's going to show you that the coordinating colors are right here, which are rose red, elegant eggplant, brilliant blue, and the complementary color would be Bravo Burgundy. Okay, and then we also have the colors on either side that would also work with that. Okay, so if you're having trouble with color, um, you're going to want to think about the color coach. And with the free shipping, you're going to get um, on this month's order of $70 or more, you might as well throw in a color coach. Anytime I have any problems with a project, I um, pull out my color coach and I pop one color out and put another color in. And sure enough, the project all hangs together. So I wanted to show you really quickly um, a, a project that I love that I've been working on and has a lot to do with color so I'm going to be using the snowflake from the country living um, the holiday collection kit I just showed you also I'm going to use this thanks um, stamp and this is from one of the stamp sets that's on the retirement list okay we're going to use some punches which I have here the Stampin' Up! punches and we're going to use some Versamark ink some paper and uh, let's get started Okay, so what I want to show you first is we're going to how to open up the Stamp It Up stamp pad if you're not familiar with that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push it away from yourself, okay, pull it back, and then slide it. Now I did that backwards on camera, so I'm going to show you from my point of view. So I'm, my thumb is here. I'm going to push it away from me. I'm going to pull it towards myself, and then I'm going to push it back. We're all good. I'm going to take the stamp. I'm going to ink it up. Really good. I'm using Tangerine Tango, which is the in color, part of the in color family. I'm going to stamp it down. Okay, and then I'm going to take my circle punch. All right, and I'm just going to 
punch out that snowflake. Now what you want to do is you want to kind of offset that a little bit. And you always want to turn your punches upside down so you can see what you're punching. Okay, let me just fix this. This kind of fell over a little bit here. Okay, we're good. All right, so we're good with that. Now I'm going to show you. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one and three quarter inch um, circle punch. And I'm going to punch this out of Pacific Point, turning it upside down. Okay, and then we get a Pacific Point circle there. I'm going to put these aside, clear the deck here. Okay. And I'm going to show you a technique called faux diamond. I'm sure you've seen it before. I took the Versamark pad, and I'm just going to put my image on there, and I'm going to make sure that I ink it up really, really good on there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat and stick powder in my little Powder Pals tray. If you don't have the Powder Pals tray, I highly recommend that you get those. This is heat and stick powder. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to um, heat it up and it's going to be sticky so then I can go ahead and stick something on there. So I apologize for the noise that you're going to see, hopefully on camera. As soon as it gets shiny, it's done. Okay, and you don't want to overheat that because you will burn out the adhesive in that, okay? So I'm going to take my Dazzling Diamonds, and I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top. You're going to see I have a little, little spoon from Baskin Robbins here. And I'm just going to put it all over. I want to make sure I get that little edge where I had my thumb, okay? And we're going to tap that off. We're going to move this out of camera. And then I'm just going to hold it again with my little bone folder just a little bit on the corner there. Tiniest little bit. Hold it down so it doesn't blow away, and then I'm just going to heat it for one one little little go around, so I can make sure that all that adhesive is set in there. Okay, and then where do you see how awesome this looks? Right on the Pacific Point. Right, doesn't that look great? Okay, let me show you the card really quick that I made using those components. Okay, here's my card. And I used the In Color inks. This is Kiwi Kiss, Tangerine Tango, uh, Pirouette, Pink Pirouette, and this is Riding Hood Red. And then I used the coordinating card stocks in the, in the family. And then I also did the Faux Diamond for Thanks. I hope that comes up on the camera. And then on the inside, it just says a million. So thanks a million. So I thought that was a really sweet card. And this is in celebration of color for this month. So come back again tomorrow, and I'll show you some really great, um, fun color tricks.